Okay, we're gonna give this another try today. Uh, getting a little bit later start. I wanted to get started before the sunrise. I don't know. Anyway, um, I've seen a couple people come through here, then they went bushwhacking through there, and they haven't come out. So, I think that's my best bet, because looking at topo maps, there's just no way to get through there. Unless I just walk the river, but I'm all packed up, ready to go. All I gotta do is uh, pin my hair down, get it up, because it's already hot, and uh, we'll see what happens today. Ah! I've had breakfast, drinking my coffee, so fueled up, ready to rock. Here we go. Okay, <laughs> teeth brushed, pack on, hair on fleek. <laughs> what are you thinking of my hair now? <laughs> Let's go bushwhacking! Okay, made it through that mess of trees and trunks and rocks and birds. <laughs> now we're out and headed up the riverbed. I am not sure what kind you are. Maybe a bull snake? So I'm sitting here by the river. I had to stop and dismount because I couldn't get my umbrella out. Usually I can pull my umbrella out with my uh, um, with my trekking pole, but today I couldn't. So, but sure, it's nice sitting here by this river. Nice cool breeze. Get cooled off before the next section. The next few days is straight up. So uh, I'm hoping there's some trail magic, or if I can get some um, signal. I'm going to see if I can get a hold of uh, somebody to bring me in some food uh, tomorrow or the next day because I'm out. I'll be out. I didn't plan on taking this long. <laughs> I'm sure people on the trail have some food they want to get rid of, so I'll put a sign. We'll dance for food. We'll smile for food. Hey. That snake was beautiful, wasn't it? I'm gonna look it up and see if, before I post the video to see if I can find out what kind it was. All right. And these are the little rocks. And it's the big rocks. It's like rock climbing. Oops, excuse me. So see? The trail over there, all this land was taken out, and here is where the trail starts. So you have to go upstream and find a place to climb the side. Okay, I came down on my butt over there, crossed here, and now getting ready to do more rock climbing. Look how pretty it is. And I slid down on my butt again. Back in the riverbed. And looky there. Beautiful clouds. Come shield us from the sun. Give us some rain. <laughs> I don't feel as bad. Even the young, younger folk, them youngins, are having a hard time with all of this. Uh, I was telling them it took me eight, nine hours yesterday to go four or five miles. He goes, yeah. He said, it's slowing us all down. Can't wait till we get to the Sierra, right? Ah, I need a pontoon boat for there. <laughs> okay, upwards we go. Look at how pretty. A pretty color here. Like a rich ochre. 
So I just met Trigger and Hotbox, and earlier I met Fire, Lone Wanderer, um, hmm, lots of hikers today, which is nice. The last couple days I hadn't really seen that many. Of course, I was, they were all hiking at night, I guess. I don't know. But uh, uh, looking forward to getting at a higher elevation so it will cool down, and then those clouds. Those clouds, baby! Yay! A couple hikers just passed me and they go, you're the river walker. And I'm going, uh, no, I'm lying. He goes, no, you're the river walker. We watched you walk up the river. And I'm going, yeah. I said I got tired of climbing over all those boulders. I just walked up the river. He goes, smart lady. <laughs> you do what you gotta do. Okay, so the end of another day. I am out, did a little climb for my nature call before I go to bed. A rough day, everybody's talking about how hard this section is and uh, how it was written in gut hook, but it's even harder than that. People expecting to get lots of miles are getting very little miles, but I think we're pretty much done with the trail finding, the bushwhacking, the rock climbing, the butt sliding. I think we're done with that. Maybe one more crossing, but it's nice to have water. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's also cooler up here as we climb higher and higher. So I'm getting ready to go to bed. I had some hot tea and, and um, I will see you in the morning. Good morning, another beautiful day. Um, should be a little cooler today because climbing from elevation of 6,500 to 8,500, that is if I <laughs> make it. We are back to just straight up now. To my knowledge, we don't have any more bushwhacking, rock climbing, butt sliding, <laughs> all, all of the above. But we're back to very steep switchbacks going up and let's see what else. This morning was the first morning I woke up that my body was not ready for the trail. It was still hurt. In fact, it woke me in the night. So I guess all that rock climbing yesterday, cliff climbing up and down, wore me out. But really, I used some muscles I hadn't been using. So anyway, I brew popin. Kick in, please. <laughs> so. We're off to the races today. We'll see what the day brings, but pretty much uphill. Steep rocks uphill. <laughs> Repeat, repete. Okay, see you up the trail. Okay, today's food craving is, actually yesterday's and the day before, fried chicken. Oh my God, I can just taste the greasy skin fried chicken thighs from Albertsons or Kentucky Fried Chicken and mashed potatoes and gravy with giblets in the gravy and creamy coleslaw with fresh cabbage and fresh dressing. Oh my God. Fried chicken! Yeah, around the 240s, 250s, any trail magic going out there? <laughs> okay, fried chicken. Chicken! Okay, so I stopped and had a snack lunch and rested for about a half hour or so. I'm telling you, this climb yesterday, today, tomorrow is insane. I can do 30, 40 steps at a time. And uh, so that's what I'm doing. But man, that's really pretty because we're getting into some pines now. So there's excuse me, shade and um, uh, 
hopefully those clouds are going to come in too, so that'll help. There's been a little breeze on the exposed areas, so hey, it is. St some parts are so steep that you have to hold your foot tight so it doesn't slide back down. That's how steep it is. <laughs> so, uh, 40 more steps. Here we go. <laughs> well, today's a day where the trail got to me. It was a hard start because I pulled a butt muscle <laughs> yesterday or hip muscle trying to climb on those rocks and getting around where the trail used to be. And then today is just straight up. I mean, very steep. And now here I am. I don't know if you can see, but that little part is so straight up that you'll fall over backwards. So one of them days on the trail, but it's cooler, and there's lots of trees, and it's cooler in the trees. And uh, uh, I think coupled with, my foot's doing better, but uh, I am officially out of food. I have water, and there's more water sources coming up. However, there's another 20 mile water carry. I think if maybe if I had food, I would have more energy. Because now that I want to eat, I don't have food. Isn't that crazy how that works? Okay, I'm gonna go conquer that monster right there. It's because this tree fell over the trail. You can't get through. I could try, but I'd have to take off my pack. So, and then pull it through. So I think I'll just climb it and get it over with. Here we go. Up, up and away. <laughs> holy, all that is holy. That was hard, I almost lost it and uh, fell backwards. But the last little bit, I was able to hold on to that rock and I crawled up very carefully. Getting to the beautiful pines now. Still steep, but almost to the campground. Okay, this is Umberto. Hello. And he saved my life. Yeah. <laughs> he, no, we saved your life. Ron, my Ron and yeah, also. has heart, gave me some food. <laughs> so I am going to make it to Big Bear City. Thank you so much. And we'll see you in Vegas when you come stay at the Airbnb. I will. Yay. Thanks. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. My face is dirty, sorry.